Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you a couple more basics in GIMP 2.10. To start off with, I am going to be showing you how to import images into GIMP. To do this, all we need to do is go to the top left hand corner of our screen and click on File. You now need to go down to Open and we're going to find the image that we want to import into GIMP. Mine are in Desktop and in my GIMP folder. As you can see, I have two image files in here. One is a .jpeg and the other is a .png file. .png basically means that the image has a transparent background. So when I import my Mount Everest image, which I'm going to do now by going open. Now that's imported. Now if I go ahead and open up my Sonic image, which is a .png file. It will have a transparent background like I said. Just keep everything there as normal and just press convert. And there we go. As you can see, the background has black and white little rectangles. We now need to copy this image. To do this, you need to make sure you have the rectangle tool selected in the top left hand corner here. And you now need to drag your mouse cursor across holding down the left button. And you now need to go control and C. Or you can go to the top here and go edit and go copy. We now need to switch to our other document which you can do up the top here and click onto our blank canvas. You now need to go down to the bottom right hand corner of GIMP and click on this button here to create a new layer and we need to go OK. You now need to go Control and V which will paste our image as you can see it's done it there which is great. And now if we deselect off Sonic, just simply click anywhere on the screen and it will unselect. And as you can see in the bottom right hand corner of our screen, we have Sonic there, which is great. We can now go to our other image and if we now select the area again using our mouse and holding down the left button of our mouse and go control and C or like I said, go to the top here and go edit and copy. We can now go back to our other document again, create a new layer and go OK and we can now go Control and V. And there we go. As you can see, we now have Mount Everest and Sonic on the same document. I'm now going to deselect Mount Everest by simply clicking over the left here. And at the minute, Mount Everest is on top of Sonic, which is not good. We want Sonic on top of Mount Everest. And to change this around, all you need to do is go to the right hand side here where our layers are and simply click on the layer you want to move. I want to move Sonic, which means I've now selected Sonic here and I simply need to hold down my left button on my mouse and drag it up above the other layer. And there we go. He's now above Mount Everest, which is great. But as you can see, He's massive compared to Mount Everest and I actually want to resize Mount Everest. To do this all you need to do is select the layer of the image you want to resize and you now need to hold down shift and press T. And as you can see I've got a few rectangles on the image now which is great. These are all the rectangles to resize my image. If it didn't work when you held down shift and press T, then all you're looking for is this logo to the left hand side here in our tools area. It's the third line down and it's right on the left hand side. Right, I'm now going to resize this image by simply going to the bottom right hand corner here. And I'm now going to simply just drag my mouse across. And as you can see, the image is getting bigger. That's fine there. I now want to do the other corner up here and do the same again, holding down shift. And I'm now going to zoom out, holding down control and using the wheel on my mouse and then simply do the other corner again. And now, as you can see, it is completely covering my document, which is the yellow rectangle here. If we now deselect off the resize by simply just clicking on another tool, it will begin to load up the transform. 
And once the transform has finished, this is what you will end up with. And look at that. There we go. As you can see, Sonic is transparent and you can see Mount Everest in the background. We could always select our move tool, which is this one with the arrows and then select Sonic and we could just simply move him around a bit if we wanted. There we go. But that is basically it for this video. I hope this video helped. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.